Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, what we are doing today is like a 100 items de-stash um, or I'll probably be doing it over a couple of days. Um, this is just what I've pulled out so far. Um, this is a Black Wolf Stealth Bivy in camo. Um, I didn't actually get to pick the um, like colour palette of this and I hate camo. <laughs> Um, I'm a civilian, I don't need to wear ca camo at all, um, and I kind of find it weird as to why you would want to, but anyway, um, so it's also, um, I think the first time I took it out, um, it is really, really tiny, I got it because it was relatively small and light and fit in my backpack, um, which is actually the one underneath that I was going to also going to de-stash, but it is like a coffin, so, um, this is going. Um, also this shovel, you can't really see it against the backdrop, but um, this is a shovel. I might kind of have no need for a shovel this small in a domestic environment. And I have no need for a shovel this big while hiking. Um, so um, that is going out. I have a juice of spades for my hiking. Um, this hiking backpack is going out. Um, it is a 80. Um, it kind of functioned perfectly fine, but I'm actually five foot four, so having a bag um, this big was a bit too much. Um, and it's also starting to tear um, down here. Um, so they're the kind of camping items that are going. Um, the next things on the list are art supplies. Most of this that I've pulled out is art supplies. Um, this blackboard, um, it has like a matching um, a razor um, and this is all chalk um, I got this a couple of years ago I used to use it a lot I now um, don't use it it was very useful while gaming to be honest because you could write it and but you know paper and pen does the same thing this is um, I left a workplace once and I got this uh, giant plastic pen it was a bit weird and I have, um, just dropping the cord on you guys, not used it since. Um, so that can, it's very cute and it matches my bag, but I just don't use it. Um, this is like a knife set um, with different blades on the other side. That's going to be, um, there are some seashells and paint. And this bag here is glitter. And the paint palette, I used to paint, as you can tell, with a lot of these it being gone. And I just don't paint so much. Um, anymore and uh, these may as well go to somebody who's actually going to use um, these paints really. um, along a similar line is obviously these um, are a um, collection of paintbrushes um, same as this kind of stuff it is just all kind of art stuff and punches and cords and more paper punches um, and stuff like that so it's just general art stuff um, this is when I was making uh, posters and stuff like that so um, these are all pictures cut out fashion pictures mostly um, but again I'm not doing that art particularly so much anymore this is an office supply stuff. Um, I don't really use it even though I have lots of office supplies. I just don't tend to use that. This is fabric down here. That is a pencil case. This is more artwork um, by doing stuff with collages. This is what I mean. So this is the type of collage stuff that I was doing. Um, this is a lot of pages of collage art, as you can tell. This is just the loose leaf stuff. I also have um, probably 15 or 20 books of these, but I just stopped doing it, really. Um, this pillow is going. I've probably um, gotten rid of about... Uh, I used about 15 throw pillows. I am now down to um, four ones, large ones this size. 
and two small ones. One small one matches a bedding set that I have um, and one that is a stitch pillow and I love stitch. Um, these are some of the books that are going. So you would have seen on Instagram. I've also given away a Joe Hill book. I've also given away five other cookbooks. These are just the last two in the stash that I went through um, to get rid of. Um, kids book atlas another kids book these two here are going to my nephews as is this water bottle so these ones will probably be sent to my nephews again i think i went through what one of my problems with these bags were in my stash video so um cute but they just are not as functional as my stash video as my stash bags i use my stash bags like all the time same as these ones, I tended to find that these ones went stale. Um, so they are being de-stashed to um, this little bag is being de-stashed to possibly to my sister. And it will have, um, it has these five books on the inside, which I will pull out now, which are the Babysitter's Club, the first eight books, I believe. Yes, so this is the first eight books of the Babysitter's Club original uh, 19 like 80s print so they'll be going to my sister so that is um, the D stash as it is I haven't actually individually counted out the items um, and that's obviously because as you can tell there's quite a bit um, of stuff that is going on also I've given away two I've probably given away 200 pieces of clothing so far um, or donated them so at this point, they're all gone. Um, outside of that, that's the update. I will continue to update everyone as I um, continue my de-stash. So that is artworks. And at this point, camping gear. And some cookbooks. The last of the cookbooks that I've gone through. And some stuff for my sister. Okay, we're continuing my 100 item D stash. Um, this is going to my nephew, so these are all the pop vinyls. That are going, and this is all the Lego. So there's about 45 sets of Lego, and this is a Lego suitcase. And these are the base sheets um the gray ones are like street ones um so this is all going to be packed in this box and sent over as soon as i find a decent courier that's not going to cost about three hundred dollars to pay because these two boxes are actually quite light because lego and the pop vinyls aren't that heavy um and this box here is full of Lego as well. Um, so both of them are full of Lego. Um, these bags have got tape on them as you've noticed. Um, and the tape is due to these um, plastic bags um, being a bit dodgy, obviously. Um, these plastic bags have been used three or four times actually um, in various camping expeditions and now have been used obviously to house um, this um, section of uh, Lego so uh, these are the Lego books that we're going to do um, so um, so these poor um, plastic bags have been taken camping and have been kind of stuffed into a lot of areas um, and thrown into my backpack as we've been camping. So they have gotten um, a little bit um, broken as you can see. So these areas have, been, have just been taped up so they don't spill all the Lego everywhere. Um, so this is um, more 100 item d -sash. Okay, we're continuing on with my like um, 100 item d -sash. Um There is this um, ultrasonic um, aroma humidifier. 
um, that a like doTERRA representative had um, and so that's how I ended up with it but um, I just don't use it at the end of the day um, and this one here is full of books that I'll just lift you up so you can have a look um, so obviously Frank Millison City this is Grimm's Fairy Tales this is uh, Mary Poppins, um, Mary Poppins, and we've got uh, these types of books. Um, this here, Chuck Palahniuk, is one of my favourite authors, um, but I've read his work so many times. Um, I've kept my two favourite books from him, um, which is Rant and Invisible Monsters, um, and I have kept Fight Club Part 2, the graphic novel. Outside of that, the rest of his work is off. This is Tamara Drew, um, which I have. Somehow I ended up with like three copies of this book, so I don't need three copies. This is one of the greatest comics, American Splendor. Um, that is going to a friend of mine who um, likes kind of philosophical type things and... Um, she'd probably love that book. This is The Secret Garden which is going to actually ironically enough the same person and her daughter. Um, you're seeing obviously some of my messy floor that I haven't actually got around to cleaning yet. Um, this guest bag, this guest bucket bag which at the time I got it was like completely what I wanted and I used it all the time because I loved the bucket bag but I just found that I don't use it anymore um, and um, I, yeah, so I just find that it was a really good bag and I do actually still even like it, which is why I've kept it, um, but at the end of the day I actually don't um, use it that much anymore. Um, this is another handbag, which was kind of a going out party bag, um, kind of because it was small and it has a matching purse on the inside, um, but again, same thing, um, I use, I have actually a really small guest handbag which if you follow me on Instagram you probably would have seen um, that I use when I'm kind of going out and doing things so even then I just don't use this bag that much um, so again uh, that's kind of what's led this kind of de-stash really is that I'm just not using the stuff that I have in my room or not reading the books and there is going to be other things to have. This is a little speaker teddy bear. Um, and in here is water bottles, glow in the dark stuff, and all of this type of stuff. So it's, um, again, so it's my little pony one. Um, this is a game which is going to my nephews, which is Zelda Yahtzee, which is kind of cool. But, um, so this is the continuing de-stash. Um, I think this is my third or my fourth video that I've made, it, made of it to put them all together. So, um, I hope you uh, enjoy the length of this video because it's possibly going to be a bit long. Outside of that, um, I'll be doing a few more videos like this to actually kind of compile them into one long list. So, um, I think this is what's just going to continue to happen. So kind of to continue my 100 item declutter um, or my declutter in general because I think I'm most likely over 100 items right now is that um, I did all the obvious stuff first. Now I've essentially pulled everything out of my room. Um, not everything here is obviously going to be decluttered um, but um, like this is all the stuff that I had stored in boxes or stored under my bed or stored in my closet. Um, it's kind of part of the um, declutter that I'm doing. Um, I've actually am using this uh, like the Christmas break uh, to actually pull everything out of my room and really kind of do a clean, um, which means I've pulled every, I'm pulling all, pra all the practical stuff out, um, not like pulling out my bed or anything. So this is all the stuff that was um, in my room, in boxes, under the bed, all of that type of stuff so um, we'll be continuing to go through not everything here a lot of the stuff on here will actually stay um, but it's just really to go through 
what really I do and do not have. Outside of the furniture and the musical instruments, the rest of the stuff has been pulled out of my room, um, including these types of art things, um, these bags that are converse boxes at the bottom. Um, I do tend to keep my shoe boxes that I get, those are probably two years old now, um, just because they're convenient storage places, but that's actually part of the problem with clutter, oh. is that you end up with a lot of stuff in storage and all of the stuff kind of on the piano has also been pulled out. Those bags are actually mostly empty now, so that's a bit exciting. Um, that was my birthday Lego um, that I still haven't built. Um, usually, for those of you who don't know, I've actually been using Lego as a um, anti-anxiety tool, as a coping mechanism. Um, I was actually going to build it over this Christmas break that uh, I'm currently filming this in. So this kind of 100 item D stash has actually been going on for quite a while now, for probably about two months. Um, I have been filming this vlog as I've been going along and I'll compile it at the end. I'm slightly scared about how long this video is going to be, but that's kind of what it is. It also kind of ties in with the new year. Um, I am planning on having this done by the 31st of December 2019 so that I can um, kind of start the new year with a clean room and a kind of cleared out wardrobe so and cleared out just stuff I've done with my books. They should have been all the earlier videos in this series and now it's just so I've actually pulled everything out of my room and that's what this hallway section is about. Um, is just all of this stuff. Um, that Nintendo bag and the two boxes underneath it are actually um, de-stashes to my sister. Um, this does have stuff in it. It's actually kind of an awesome Nintendo bag, but my sister was like, that bag's amazing, so I'm going to give it to her. It has some bags and some night lights and some kids' spoon. She has small children. This spoon set has a plate and a bowl with it as well. It did have a water bottle, but I think that may have gotten broken at some point. Um, and those are like the pop vinyl heads. Um, there's another eight, I think. To send off the rest as you can see here is kind of camping gear and rubbish um, those plastic bags have been plastic bags that have been like kind of exchanged throughout my friend group as we give each other stuff and then I use them as my bin liners for my room um, this is kind of as you can see a bit of camping gear that uh, ironing board is not mine it's just kind of in the hallway um, this bag up here is um that's like a book thing um a book rest and the rest of the stuff is like pens and scrapbooking stuff but my friend is actually right into scrapbooking at the moment um and so she's getting a lot of stuff her grandchild wanted a book rest so that book rest is going to go to her for her grandchild and then the rest of the stuff in there um like this is like cardstock and a painting set i just don't use them any longer um, these are Christmas presents that haven't been picked up because I do not do Christmas parties with other people's families. Um, I do orphans Christmases, um, but I'm not really into being a tag along on a family Christmas for somebody else's family, and my family lives on the other coast. Um, so about a five and a half hour flight away from where I live. Um, so that is the current um, way my hallway looks. Um, with stuff that I've pulled out to kind of sweep and deal with the stuff in my room. This is the Sojourner bag, which is actually like a water pack bag that um, it's actually been 40 degrees here a lot of the time um, because it's summer here. And so that is very important when, I'm at, when I know I'm going away for quite a while, as in a couple of hours, I will take that with me um, so I can have a bladder pack with me so I have like two litres of water with me but after that there will be a review on that coming um, and so this is the kind of continuation of my cleaning as you can see I do have quite a bit of stuff 
while we're kind of on this cleaning vent this is kind of what my room looks like at the moment as you can see it is a bit of a mess it's because a lot of the stuff is in the hallway that possibly but it should have been the video that you have seen just before this one um and or at least in the line in the train of videos that have been going on for months this is probably the longest vlog that i have done um and really it's just about me working through all of the stuff that i have in here um, this is my couch with all of my clothes on it at the moment. My wardrobe broke. Um, so, but it also has, obviously, as you can see, toys and a Totoro. Um, so this is the stuff that I haven't actually dumped in the hallway yet. Um, this is, this used to be one of those, like, clothes rack things. Um, but it breaks. It, well, it did broke, break. Wow still using English fantastically so obviously it has a couple of things um, hanging off of it at the moment um, and it basically kind of works as my towel holder um, which is actually kind of good because it that means it hangs out to kind of dry that's the rest of my shower stuff including soap tooth powder toothpicks and etc a face wash and my shampoo and conditioning bars so that's kind of a bath this was actually a bath rack but actually fitted quite well. Um, this goes to one of my hiking bladder packs. These are cooler cloths. This is one of those soap savers from Green and Kind. It does have some of my extra soap bars in it that I haven't actually used yet, but um, this is what is left of my books. You would have seen some of my book stashes that have happened. Um, I have one more, one more book stash to get through. Um, and because obviously you get through the ones that are easier and then you get to the ones that are harder and harder and harder. Um, this group here is my keep under any circumstances pile. Um, this one here are a bunch of books that I really actually do love. Chuck Palahanic is one of my favourite authors. I did have about another eight or nine of his books. Um, but a girl at work is into philosophy and um, different aspects of... Um, it's a human experience and so I gave her um, like ironically enough a whole bunch of Chuck Palahniuk books um, because it's really nihilistic and his work is really nihilistic if you're not familiar with his name um, he most infamously wrote the book Fight Club which obviously the movie with Brad um, Pitt and Edward Norton um, are in so he wrote that book and that's kind of an infamous um, book that's out so these are actually two of my favorite books that he's written so i've got my two favorites in my collection and have given her nine or ten i think nine maybe of his books because he is really really nihilistic in the way he writes it's actually a really great philosophy um for to kind of for a philosophy kind of major to read and just because of the way he explores humanity so I've kept my two favourite. This is Hank Hicks and Vegetarian. Um, it's a very interesting um, book. Um, I have done a review on that book. Um, so you can go and watch that book review. Um, I've also got Michael Cunningham's The Hours. That's based on Virginia uh, Woolf's Miss Dalloway. Um, and it's also a movie with Meryl Streep in it. Um, Memoirs of a Geisha. Um, and then here I've done reviews on this poet would be cool so i can also link that jane austen's sense and sensibility it's actually my favorite jane austen um, which is why i've got it here i do have about four or five versions in about three houses so it's not like i definitely need it but it is one of my favorite books and i generally try and keep a copy on me this is a madonna um, unauthorized biography um, i am a big fan of madonna this is actually madonna sex right here um, and that is the Madonna nudes that she did when she was 19 or 20, um, very early on in her career. Um, but obviously I give it, um, even though it's unauthorized, My Friend Dharma, which is a uh, graphic novel. I did have a lot of graphic novels, and the graphic novels were probably the hardest to get rid of. Um, but at the end of the day... Um, I didn't necessarily read them all the time like I, I had them and I bought them and I read them but then they kind of just sat on my bookshelf and so 
Um, this is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Watchmen, both by Alan Moore. Um, he is a but I've had this is probably my fourth, my fifth copy of Watchmen because I keep giving it to people to read, and then um, so this is one I'll probably keep. Um, this this is a giraffe given to me by a friend. I do have quite a few giraffes around, um, and it was due because giraffes are just awesome because they're weird. Um, this is moisturizer and purple. This is by an Australian artist on Etsy. So as you can see, this is some um, deodorant, some bug balm, some night cream, uh, peppermint oil, that is dry shampoo, native deodorant. Um, this is not that I ate that because it's got gelatin in it, but it's a tin that I have to go in one of my hiking packs. Another, This is actually the same artist as this picture. And then I have my soap by Rat Bag Soap. Um, I've only got, I think, seven left, but I did order a whole bunch at the same time. And my Dynamo down here are some books. Um, not books, some notebooks and some journals and some games, in, including Bananagrams and Zip It, colouring in books, um, and like personal papers that I have. This, this fireplace used to be full of my books um, until I reduced them all to this. So, um, that's, I still haven't gone through my personal books, my colouring books yet, but that's on the list of the things to get to. This is the Lego. I de-stashed all of my Lego, which is about 45 sets, to my nephews. Um, these, so that is Princess Leia, Hermione and Snape. So these will eventually go to my nephews too. Um, Rainbow Batman. I think I've got four or five. Um, I think I just paid shipping for them. It's a bit weird. Um, Maleficent and the Blue Fairy is back there. Um, so these are shot glasses from Turak and Kuza. So Kuza was one. So I have gone to, I think at this point, probably 15 Cirque du Soleil. So I usually come and see them whichever city I am living in and I go and see them at least once. I think I saw Kusa twice with different friends, but um, this is the book to an alien toy that I have, which we will get to. Um, this Sense Age by Giorgio Armani is my favorite perfume. It's one of the rare ones that I bought, wore. Um, it's been discontinued, so those are the last two bottles that I have. At this point, they're probably evaporated away um, because these are literally the last two I have found. Um, so that one is empty. Um, so this was literally my favorite perfume in the world. I actually don't wear perfume anymore. I used to probably have about 15 bottles. I do have a perfume balm by... Um, the Dirty Hippie Company, I believe, um, but that's probably the only thing I'd wear um, particularly now. Um, oh, there we go. That bottle's not all gone. But, again, they discontinued Sensei. I was very, very devastated because I loved it. It's probably the only perfume that I'd actually bother with now. Um, as you, If you've noticed, it is still quite a bit dusty here, and that's because I haven't got to the dusting because I'm still cleaning. Um, this is the Fabrications Princess Leia. Um, this is the Bleeding Edge Goss Dolls. That's just an owl that will probably go. Um, this is a My Little Pony um, fidget. And all of these little things do something different. And then, of course, I've got the ones that... the um, These ones that I'm keeping. Ironically enough, these six here are the same character. Um, so, Evil Queen, Sparkly Evil Queen in her witch form and in the Regina form with Regina with magic, Regina with an apple and Regina with a fireball and that is Emma Swan and Maleficent. So basically the evil queen and her girlfriend and her wife. So <laughs> we'll keep all of them and then the rest are the evil queen Barbie, the Maleficent little doll um, and the rest are Ever After High. 
Um, and they are all the Evil Queen character, the Evil Queen's daughter, I think, and the Evil Queen, and that one is a Mad Hatter's daughter. Um, and this is uh, Red Riding Hood from an artist down south of Western Australia, in the southwest region, um, and I got it at a festival that I went to, and it was really, really cute, so I kept it. So that's kind of where we are. Um, you'll probably recognize this is the desk that I film at. These are the pictures that, that are around my desk. This picture, this green one, that blue one, and that tree down there are all from an artist at the same festival. Um, that's something that I drew ages ago. And that is a Chanel number no. five ad with Marilyn Monroe. And that is where my, all my cloth pads are sitting in their boxes at the moment waiting for me to deal with it. So um, that is the progress of my cleaning and we'll see if we can get this done by the end of the year. This is my bed set up for the new year um, and uh, all everything's been cleaned and washed. Um, it has been pushed into the corner um, because I very rarely have my bed pushed into the corner because it's just harder to make um, and more annoying and I definitely do not have that many pillows on my bed normally. I usually have the body pillow and then those are three at the end but um, I've decided to make it more like a hybrid day bed, um, night bed because I very rarely sit at my desk. As you can see that I don't have a bedside table um, and <coughs> excuse me, have really no desire to get one. So that is just water bottles um, next to my bed with my little mini conditioner and my little mini laptop, um, which is basically what I watch when I go to bed. Um, outside of that, that's basically what the setup looks like now with all those pillows and now that everything is clean um, I, I had I think 15 pillows so I'm down to those four big ones and those three small ones um, so that is the pillows at the moment um, that is a lamp that Logitech are my speakers and then we have my desk as you can see we've cleaned up the hallway um, now what's in here is stuff that is going so that yellow bag is for shredding um, these are still Christmas presents for friends that I haven't caught up with yet um, these, are, these are wrapped in I don't give a crap um, toilet paper covers um, these are my friend likes doing uh, scrapbooking so these are all stuff for her um, this is the donation bag. Um, there is another one uh, the same size outside. Um, they are books to go to my friend's uh, son. Um, he likes graphic novels. That is for the scrapbooking friend um, who will come over and take the presents and the shredding um, because she has a shredder. These, this um, bag and those two boxes are for my sister. They are just plastic bags that are, um, will move back to my room. So that is it. Um, now it's just obviously hamper, um, towel, um, couch, which is still my wardrobe at the moment because I don't have a wardrobe. And if you notice, there is this towel as a mat. I didn't never bought. I never um, worried about getting a mat when I just used an old towel essentially. Um, that used to be the bookshelf, um, now it um, holds essential paperwork and stuff like that and some colouring in books, so um, as you can tell it's still a work in progress but I have got it down significantly well, those are the books and jewellery that is left, um, so I've gone from I think 73 um, of these um, of these to um, 
these eight, um, of which six of them are the same character. <laughs> so all of these six are evil queens. Um, so this evil queen, Glitter evil queen, the evil queen in her witch form, um, from Regina from Once Upon a Time, that one there is her purple magic, um, that is with an apple and that is with a flame. And these are both of um, the evil queen's wives, obviously Maleficent and Emma Swan. Um, and then there's just some more dolls up there and there's a Princess Leia pop. Um, I do have a Maleficent one like this as well um, and the fabri fabrications um, and that is usually this Princess Leia stays in her box unless it's uh, April the 4th, uh, <laughs> May um, the 4th um, and um, where we usually have, where she usually is my prop. Um, so um, that is my hiking gear. Um, it still does need to be gone through, but that is basically my overnight bag and my um, long trekker. So this this smaller black one is Osprey, um, and that is a Deuter pack. So they are that is basically all of my hiking stuff. Fan um, desk with the photos up, all the artwork up, um, cloth pads. Um, currently soaking ones for to go out and of course my bed which you would have seen much more tidier yesterday um, then these here are my sheet boxes so they contain all my sheets um, previously um, these boxes were covered up and um, and like used as a table and of course the problem with that is that when I would swap my sheets or swap my towels or do something um, the extras would then end up on the bed because I couldn't be bothered taking everything off that box to put them in um, and now I'm going to leave them uncovered so I have greater access and things can actually go back where they belong um, this little box here um, is um, my shopping stuff so those are shopping bags just on the top um, and then these are all stuff that um, so string bags and vegetable bags and produce bags are in there um, again on top easily to access um, they are my birthday and Christmas Lego that I still haven't built I've had that um, VW van since May um, and of course all my pillows that I'm keeping. This is actually my doona. Um, I do usually roll it up um, so it doesn't um, get too um, filthy. Um, it is a, um, a Swan Queen design. It's a Swan Queen uh, after designed after Jack Daniels. So a Swan Queen storybook whiskey. Um, outside of that, um, that's how much I have uh, cleaned up and throw it out so I still have to go through another run through of my clothes um, and the toys at the back outside of that pretty happy with going into the new year with this so um, this will be posted today which is the 31st of December um, hopefully I'll have it posted by midnight um, Perth time so I'm in Perth Western Australia so it will be pasted midnight my time um, I hope which means it will hit um, the rest of the world obviously at your local time so um, other than that enjoy your new year um, and I hope you enjoy this very long video on um, three months worth of cleaning bye everyone